You leave! You can let go of this any time! You Oh, sh**. Oh, sh**. Have you heard of the term furries? Well, they're people who act as animals with human characteristics. Excuse me. These kids want to identify as being cats or dogs, and actually the latest one I heard lately was a rock, and therefore that student doesn't talk in class because rocks don't talk. So let's talk about fury, furries. <laughs> it was addressed by a child uh, a couple months ago that they are put in an environment where there are kids that, are, that identify as a furry, a cat or a dog, whatever. Sure, furries, aka people who dress up like and sometimes even act like or try to act like animals, is a real thing. And so yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools in our town has a, in one of the unisex bathrooms a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. They think they're a cat. A cat. They put tails on and they demand that they have a litter box in the school. And I, I will do some more investigation on that. I know it's going on nationwide. I know it is. It's part of the agenda that's being pushed. I don't, I don't even want to understand it. Kids dressing up as furries and demanding litter boxes in school bathrooms. Uh, to be completely accurate, we aren't sure it actually happened. There are no litter boxes in schools. These conspiracies are insulting. Uh, we actually did a story about this last year. Um, a Nebraska lawmaker had to apologize for this very thing, debunked litter box claim. Uh, Bosselman said during state legislative debate, and now schools are wanting to put litter boxes in schools for these children to use. How is this sanitary? And he had to come back and apologize for it because it, it was an Internet hoax. Anybody agrees that if, if this was happening in schools, it would be a problem. But I, I'm wondering, of all the issues in North Dakota, if, if this is something that's actually happened yet. I can't believe I have to say this out loud, but the furry dress attire. That the school dress code up for debate in Brevard County. According to some board members, some students are raising concerns about their classmates' attire. They say some kids are dressing and acting like animals. There are children in our schools that are dressing as animals. Um, and that sounds innocent when you say it out loud, uh, but there are things like dog leashes and collars and walking a child as though they're an animal and tails that are tripping hazards. Yeah, they're called furries. And it's the most, to be honest with you, it's an anomaly that I didn't have when I was in school, and I'm sure you didn't either. To be clear, these board members are not talking about the full body fur suits you might see at a convention. They believe accessories like tails, collars, or ears might be distracting to other students. Is there, they're distracting the schools by barking and meowing and stuff like that. You, you hear what I say? I don't care if she learns math with a tail on or not, as long as she learns it. We begin in Payson, where a group of about 75 protesters showed up to Nebo Middle School today. They say it's an issue over students who call themselves furries. But how much of that discontent is fueled by rumor? Our Sarah Murphy asked that question. She's here with what she found out. Sarah, what's this all about? All right, Brian. Well, the term furry, it refers to someone interested in animals with human qualities. Now, they dress up like this as a cartoon version of an animal. Now, we've learned there have been reports at Nebo Middle School that students are getting mistreated over this topic. There was some kids dressed up as animals, and I heard that another kid got bit by one of them. There's a lot of speculation surrounding the protest that happened at Nebo Middle School Wednesday morning. <laughs> Nearly 75 students and parents showed up facing the school. So we're protesting against the furries because they're trying to spray us with Febreze in our eyes. They're biting at us, they're scratching at us, they're growling at us, they're barking at us. And we're trying to make a difference and change that for all of the school districts so younger kids don't have to grow up dealing with this. They're wearing animal costumes, they're growling at us, barking at us in class. And it's very distracting and we just want to come to school to learn. They're barking at you in class? Yeah. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of animal costumes are they wearing? Uh, cats, dogs, foxes, Like anything. what do you mean, like a full on bodysuit or what? They're like tails, ears. It's very sexual and inappropriate. They're wearing butt plug tails. 
underneath like skirts. They're wearing dog collars to school with leashes hanging off. It's it's just not okay. Interesting. Yeah. How old are the kids in these in these uh, classes? 11, 11, 11 through 13. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, 10, 10 to 13. 10 to 13. Like I know kids need their own personalities, but it's ridiculous when kids are dressing like animals and licking and biting people. I just don't think that's okay. And there's usual sound bits of concerned grandmothers going on TV. And, and, and I'm going to quote one for you now. Apparently, from what I understand, they are called furries. The grandmother, who asked to remain anonymous, told WLKY. They identify with animals. These people will hiss at you and scratch at you if they don't like something you're doing. I mean, like, that, that sounds like... Well, it sounds like typical furries, to be honest. But the Nebo School District tells us it's not that extreme. Seth Sorensen says no one was scratching or biting anyone and that there are a lot of untrue rumors going around. It actually is not something that's been occurring. In fact, a lot of the information that's been put out there is completely incorrect and inaccurate. And so we're still trying to get on top of that. How do they bite your ankle? Why would they? They walk on all fours, run down the hall, and bite people. They scratch people. They scratch people. They bite people. And one kid got bit, and then he kicked the bird, and got suspended. They won't stop biting at us. It's not fair. We don't. We're not allowed to wear masks on Halloween, but then they wear masks every day. They bite people. We get in trouble for it. They attack us. They bite us, and we just kick them. We get in trouble. They attack us. They attack us. Us and we get in trouble. And how else do they attack you guys? They either they bite us, they scratch us, they bark at us, they pounce on us, and then they get in trouble. They run on all fours and pounce on people. Why are they spraying you with Febreze? Just because they're jerks. Because we apparently have rabies. And there's a rumor that they've been putting litter boxes in the girls' bathroom. I heard that was just a rumor. No, it's, no, false. No, it's, false. No, it's false. true. Yeah, it's is true. it something you've seen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why, do, why do you think the principal hasn't stopped, put a stop to this? Because, because, because her, her daughter, daughter, her daughter, her daughter, is, a furry. Her, her daughter is a furry and she supports it. And she, if we get bit or something, they get mad at us. We get suspended. Not yeah, that even if they hurt us to do anything, we get suspended. They scratch, bite, and she's also they afraid of getting sued. Where are they getting these you. ideas, you think? Their parents. Their parents. Their parents. Their parents. Their parents. Why would their parents, their parents want them to dress up as an animal? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But they're, they're not supporting their parents. They get it from YouTube because they see parents. And they think it's cool. Their parents, okay. their parents aren't doing anything about it and it's wrong. I have, I have scratch proof that they scratch me. Their parents have mental illnesses and they're giving it to their kids to believe that they can act like this when they're humans. They believe they're animals and they're not. <laughs> Thank you. This is Strudel, a member of the furry fandom. Though they've been a furry for over a decade, they have their own opinions. It's crazy that it's escalated to this point where these kids are being so distracting to their peers that their peers want to stage a walkout. So to have, you know, the next generation kind of muddy our name and um, not represent it very well, it is kind of disappointing. Strudel believes there should be some limits. Continue doing things you like, continue dressing up, um, continue making art, but maybe let's keep it outside of school hours. Okay, so the district says they've worked with some students whose dress and appearance they say might be disruptive to the school environment. They say they do invite parents to talk with administration to learn more about how they're handling the situation. Brian, back to you. Okay. Birth is, is not destiny. And a human form doesn't always come with a human spirit. We gather here to embrace our inner animal and to bring our true nature to bear.